Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 170, rolling our way to the end of May, almost halfway through 2019. It's kind of what it feels like. Very strange feeling. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that are uh, with, not with us right here, right now. Uh, let's see what we're going to talk about. We're going to triage. That won't take long. I think we have two issues, three issues from before, of which one we'll look at, and one new issue, so that probably won't take too long. Uh, we'll talk about the vote of one release candidate. Yes, it's been upgraded from, I don't know, build, whatever I called it before, to, yeah, I think we have a release candidate. Um, and we'll talk about what we want to do with that. And then, as always, we'll talk about questions and comments. So before we get to votive, let's go do triage. Bob, you ready? Hi, sir. All right. Um, burn implementation hangs on PipeWrite. So I said I was going to follow up this an email, and it turns out um, I ran into these people at Microsoft, because this is a Microsoft person, it turns out. Um, when I was there for the Visual Studio Day for the votive question I had, which we will come back in. Um, when we talk about Votive. Hey, look, it's all kinds of hooked together. Um, and they're still trying to characterize this issue fully. Um, I had a theory of what might be causing it, but I don't know that that theory is correct. Maybe it is, but they need to kind of go dig into it. Um, there isn't anything known wrong in here, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a bug in the sample of doing all this stuff. So the net-net is I don't know how to deal, what to do with this issue while that is happening. Um, it, it could be an issue. They're investigating it. What do we do with a bug like that? Well, traditionally we said if you have a question for Wix users or Wix devs, go there and then come back and open a bug if you need it. All right, let's do that. Let's. Um, we could also, it turns out, like, oh, that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, we could assign the bug to uh, um, OP here. And uh, uh, Actually, we can give it to Heath, because Heath is on this, too. Um, and he seems interested in getting to the root of it. So um, we could do that. But, okay. no, I... I uh, let's just... Let, I'm, I'm fine with... Let's with, close it. Okay. And if there's a real issue, let's have him reopen it. And that's the thing we should do. Okay. Because they're looking at it, and if it's there, then they don't have to go back and type it. They'll just reopen the issue, and we'll bring it back. Okay. I can still assign it to them as closed. Yeah, I'm a f yeah, we don't trigger off assignee at all, do we? Yeah, okay. No, it's just it's easier for them to look it up, and then we can... Uh, okay. They can ping one of us, and we can reopen it. Sounds fine. Got it? Yep. Uh, this one's kind of terrifying, if it's true. Um, bundle doesn't detect earlier bundle if the upgrade good style is different. That really I have no idea me. how that could work. The compiler uses the get good attribute value or get attribute good value, whatever. Yeah. And that it always it. yeah it normalizes it to a you know MSI standard good, which should take care of braces or not. Um, so, yeah. Um, all right, let's ask for a log file, and then we'll come back for this, because I think the log file, log file for both, for the in, both installs, the log file should show us the bundle ID uh, and the upgrade code, right? I think it will. No, I don't think it's going to show the upgrade code. Even in the variable dump? It's not in the variable did dump? Ever, no, we, we don't. Did we do that? We have I a think variable that, dump, but it might not be a variable. I, I think that's one of the variables that someone, maybe me, requested um, to throw into the the variable namespace for yeah whatever you can do from. Yes. If so, then uh, it should be in the variable dump at the end. Yeah, but I don't know that we ever did that. <laughs> You're saying it's a request which may not have been fulfilled. Um, yeah. Well, the I mean, the what we need is the manifest. Hey, Sean, you want to take a quick swing at this, maybe? Let's try to reproduce uh, it. Yeah, I could try that. A tiny bundle that doesn't do much, but has two different things. Yeah, I can do that. 
All right. Cool. Actually, you don't even need you don't need the two, right? All you need is to build one, remove the braces, you, you need build two it again. Yeah, you need two builds, but you're right. But you don't need to go through the upgrade path. If the values are different, that that's going to be that's true. You can you're right. If <laughs> you look at that, that would be like, oh yeah, look, they're different, and that's busted. Yeah, if they're different, that's bad, and because all the comparisons are just you know to values in the registry, and there's no yeah, there's going to be nothing yeah. that GUIizes in the native code that would really spread. yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, all right. No. Oh. Kind of bad. Uh, although we should have found this before. I just. Yeah. All right. Maybe. It'd be uh, really, really weird. It does. It feels really, really weird. All right. All right. That's triage. Moving on. The mode of release candidate. Woohoo! Um, the Visual Studio uh, day that I went to uh, last week, two weeks ago. I forget now. Wow, who knows? Um, I was able to grab a hold of a studio person. They looked at it. They were perplexed for a while, and then they went, "Oh, it's in your fake packages config, whatever the regist fake registry package def thing, and you're supposed to have this value." And it turns out then you have to go and change the votive code <laughs> because that code generates this other file that then had the wrong value, and you end up putting this magical null path instead of a real path which is very confusing. Anyway, net net, it's like, yeah, do this. This is just what you do. And everything started working. So yay, our templates are now displaying correctly by changing the votive code, not the templates. Um, go figure. Um, so that changes out, and a build with it is available. Um, I actually updated the website to say, hey, this is out there. Um, and then today, oh, I should have put that one, uh, Yesterday, Visual Studio 2019.1 came out, and they have added the ability to tag templates um, so that they are better, more searchable in the world because templates that aren't the standard Microsoft templates don't show up in the file new dialog in, uh, sorry, project new dialog in 2019. You have to search for them. Um, any opinions on tags, uh, adding tags or tags that we should use for Votive? Like, should we do this? If so, do people have ideas what tags to add? Um, or should we just go with what we have? And everybody's quiet. Can we see what <laughs> other people have done? Well, it just came out yesterday, so nobody's, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we can see what Microsoft has done with theirs. Um, well, the simplest thing we can do is Tag it with Wix as the language. Yeah, I think it already does that because our language is in there. Oh, because that I think oh. that was like a thing from before. Like that's how it ties it to the extent the the C sharp code that's votive. I don't know. I really don't know all this stuff. Um, but you know, there are other tag possibilities. Um. I, it sounds like maybe we should look into it. Is what I'm hearing. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold the release for that. It might be more interesting to see what, as Sean suggests, what other people, other extenders are doing. Um, but even, I guess, even the, the what Microsoft, how Microsoft tags them would be interesting. Yeah, uh, first his blog entry didn't say, and here's the set of the well-known tags that we should use in the world and so right. On. And we'd have to go hunting on GitHub to find the Roslyn project, or not Roslyn, the project template, the project system yes. project. That would be easier GitHub to uh, upgrade to 2019.1 and then look at the wall. Uh, do you know how the tags show up? They show up in the new dialog. They have a picture of it. I should have grabbed it. They have a picture of it in the blog entry of your tags show up in these little tags underneath the description. Uh -huh. Basically, mm -hmm. where you'd expect them to show up. <laughs> they put them in the right place. Well, it wasn't clear to me from that blog post that I apparently really just skimmed rather than read that it was for anything more than searching. It isn't Visual more for Studio, searching, but it does show up in the UI. Okay. that's. I think Microsoft has given up on, on you know organization as a way to for, for discoverability, it's now just, yeah, just search, because <laughs> the thing's just too big for any one human mind to comprehend. There's something to that. Yeah. 
Sean, any opinions? Jake? Not really. <laughs> no. You're like, I don't ever do Project New Dialogue. I just create one by hand. Um, all right. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Uh, let me ask the different question then. Um, how long do we want the release candidate to sit out there, like tell people about it and sit out there before we release it? How, how much validation do we feel is needed at this point? Two weeks. That's arbitrary, but okay. I like sure. it. So 17 days. <laughs> if you want arbitrary, I can give you arbitrary. Yes, you can. Um, I was trying to come up with some date to release it on. <laughs> we have Memorial Day, um, but that's not four days. days away. Yes. Um, well, it sounded like Bob wanted you to click the button in the next Wix meeting. It's not. Um, that's actually not that far off. It was just, um, uh, it, it's, it's, you know, what, what, how long do we hold it? You know, traditionally we've done like a month or a week or a couple of weeks. Is this one of those, I don't, we want a, a little bit of validation. I don't think we need a whole lot. You know, I'll go download it right now. In fact, I don't know why I haven't already installed it. Um, so, you know, it's like how much validation do we need? Yeah, I don't know. All right. I'll send it to Wix users to say, hey, kick the tires, let us know if you hit any issues. Or let us know if it, I almost want the positive response. Um, yeah, I think I'll ask for a positive response. Just to know that people have actually tried it. This will say, hey, go, let us know if you have any issues, and then nobody tries it. And there's no issues because nobody tries it. Um, and. I guess I'll update the VS 2019.1 and see what the tags are. And if they're simple, then I can add a couple tags. Um, I'll probably ask Bob for some words. I'll, I'll go get the word list and then see if we can pick some. I really don't know what to pick for tags for our templates. I don't. It's arbitrary words. So setup, install, package. I don't know. <laughs> The, M MSI. MSI. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a good one. Um, MSI. Bundle. XE. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Tag them with. So. Um, all right. I will send two mails. One to let people know that the release candidate's out, and then this, um, and then we'll see how it goes from there. All right. Yay. Uh, anything else people want to talk about today? Um, my focus is mostly on Wix 4 right now, so all this stuff is kind of like, oh yeah, distractions from last year. I just really want to get Wix 4 rolling well. So, anyway, anything else? Good, good. All right. Uh, there's a meeting. Uh, pretty straightforward. I will send mails about the release candidate now, and then I will spend a little time upgrading my, photo, my Visual Studio and come up with some tags and send that around too. Uh, so we'll be back in two weeks and in that two weeks hopefully we will be talking about yep time to release the votive thing hopefully nobody will find any issues um, and we will be done with uh, Visual Studio Wix support for um, Visual Studio 2019 yay looking forward to being done with that one more distraction from Wix 4 so uh, until then you guys take it easy bye bye bye